Hello Turnerville, I see and hello world. I'm your host Dalva and we have an extra special treat for the next few days. We are going to be drawing from the Wild Goddess Oracle and this is a, an Amy Zerner and Monty Farber offering. So you may have seen some of their tarot cards and some of their other Oracle decks. Uh, once upon a time and long long ago I used to have a tarot deck uh, by this couple. Loved it. Uh, let an ex borrow it and he never get it back. So, boo to him. But yay uh, to this, right? Isn't this gorgeous? I have to hold the, the whole box up. This was a, a kit. And this is brought to us, especially by Joe, who gifted me this very generously, uh, very lovingly uh, made me a gift of this, this particular set. So, thank you, Joe. We really appreciate you. Let me show you all this art again, because it's awesome. Okay, uh, so before we get started, actually a couple things before we take our breath. This Friday, April 8th, okay, we're going to be having a poetry reading at the Terra Nouveau. Okay, it'll be 6 o'clock Eastern Time. So, and this can be your own poetry that you want to read. Uh, it can be your favorite um, poet, your favorite poem. We're just wanting to get together. Read some poetry, talk some poetry, talk about some poets, um, and celebrate Poetry Month. So April is National Poetry Month, and we're going to celebrate that here at the Terra Nouveau. So please join us on April 8th for that. Um, also, very specifically, this reading is for Monday the 4th, eight, uh, Tuesday the 5th, and Wednesday the 6th. So the 4th, 5th, and 6th. I feel like I just slurred all that together but oh we're already into April where does the time go so before we get started let's take a nice deep cleansing breath in let it go and let it flow we are just coming off a new moon that we had on Friday yes Friday April Fool's Day so hopefully everyone set their intentions and if you want to talk about it we also have that space for you and the new moon manifestation uh, topic also on the Terra Nouveau. So these cards are a little different and we've used cards similar where we have all this gorgeous artwork. I just want you to look at some of these. All right, this is Amy Zerner's beautiful collage work, right? Okay, and then we have the message on the back and these are so cute. They have little stars. I don't know if y'all can see that. I like that green, but there are little stars there. So I think they're just... They're just lovely, very powerful decks. So we're kind of looking at, uh, yes, we're looking at traditionally feminine archetypes, but uh, even my dudes that are watching this, we all have our anima, we all have our animas, so you know you need to tap into your goddess energy too. I'm just throwing that out there. So. Also, it's archetypal energy, so technically it doesn't really have a sex. So, uh, whatever, however that works for you, however that feels best, whatever message you need from that, just don't step on anybody's toes. Use the message as you see fit. Okay. So this is looking a little bit like a weather forecast. We get those pretty frequently, right? Uh, and that makes sense. I mean, energy tends to kind of come in and it stays for a few days and it sort of dissipates. Almost with, the moon does that. You know, our energy sort of shifts and changes with the moon and the moon stays in any given sign, uh, you know, two to three days. So similar. So our first card, and I'll hold this up here so you all can see again this gorgeous artwork the visionary and it says developing habits and actions to help you turn your visions into reality will guide you on your path to ultimate success and happiness let's say that one more time developing habits and actions to help you turn your visions into reality will guide you on your path to ultimate success and happiness okay and what i'm getting here is a very strong creative vibe um and that could be i'm thinking about writing because we're right in the middle of Kim's awesome. I hope you all are there. 
um, writing class. And it, it does, it feels creative. It feels like writing. Maybe it's painting. Maybe it is um, music. Maybe it's a, a crafting project or a gardening project or some other, like a home improvement project. I mean, it could be any of these things. Maybe you're restoring a car. It could be that too, all right? There's, there's all kinds of things this could be. Uh, but that's what it's feeling like. But I'm also kind of getting this message that your vision of something, like what you're seeing and what you're feeling and what you're wanting to sort of um, put, put out into the world. I don't like to use the words give birth to. Ugh. But what you're what you're trying to create, what you're trying to gift to the world, um, don't worry about it going against the status quo. Don't worry about that. Okay, when it's ready, the audience will be there. Don't worry about that. And also, don't let folks don't do this anyway. But specifically for this, don't let people um, try to avoid people or draw really strong boundaries of people who are trying to um, silence that or uh, police. That's, that's where I really want police that. You know, you're not saying it exactly the way they want you to say it. You're not writing exactly what they want you to write. You're not painting exactly the way they want you to paint. You're not using the exact tools on your car. It, it's, we all know these folks, right? Like, no. Tell them no. And if they don't respect the no, cut them loose. Okay, this this feels important. What, what you're birthing, using the word anyway, right? What you're bringing, what you're creating, what you're bringing into the world, it's too important to worry about the naysayers. It's too important to worry about the status quo. And quite frankly, the status quo is so toxic, you don't want to go with it anyway. So, this... All right, and it is followed up by, and I find this to be very interesting, the mask, okay? And that's kind of, it feels protective. And it says, neither you nor anyone else involved in your situation has the clear picture of what has happened, what is happening, or what will happen, okay? And again, that's why I, I kind of feel like this is important, and when this is ready, you'll have the audience for it. And until then, kind of protect it. Play it a little close to the vest. Um, don't let the naysayers in, you know, um, because there will be people who will try to tell you how it's going to turn out. There will be people who will try to control how it turns out. Um, no, boundaries, boundaries with that. Uh, and again, maybe just, again, play it a little close to the vest until it's ready. You know, a lot of times when we have something creative going on, we run it by folks. Or we have somebody that's like, hey, can you read this for me? Or, hey, do you mind looking at this? Or, hey, do you know anything about this particular car part? Or, hey, can you recommend a decorator? Or whatever it is. Maybe not, maybe, maybe don't farm that out this time. Maybe just kind of keep it close. Or let very few people see it until it, until it's ready. This, this feels, this feels protective. Okay. But ultimately... We have a message put out there, right? So we have this, the third, our third card, the messenger, and it says, make sure that what is being said is what is being heard. The same words and messages can often mean different things to different people. Now, this is tricky. Um, when I think about art, you know, there is um, what the art, the artist's intention versus the viewer's interpretation. Okay, we have little to no control over that. Um, but with this, maybe our own communication. Make sure your boundaries are clear. Um, make sure that you're saying what you want to say. And don't, um, don't pull your punches, right? Like, be very clear. Be very concise. Whatever the message is you're trying to get out there with this. Say, say, what, say what you need to say. Um, and that may be that status quo thing, too, where you're you're couching it in a, um, a safe way or a way that feels safe when it's ready so what you need to say be clear um, and if someone doesn't understand explain it again <laughs> you know like that that's fine uh, but at some point also understand there is there is artist intention versus um, viewer reader 
whatever a listener interpretation of it. So this is interesting. I feel like it's a there's some kind of like we're all brewing up some kind of project. We're brewing up some sort of creative energy, and it's it's moving and it's alive, and we got we got to protect it, and we also got to let it be really authentic at the same time. So, um. What do y'all think about this? Is this is this resonating for you all? Please put that in the comments below. Of course, if you have any uh, questions or concerns, also drop them below. We'll we'll have a conversation. We'll chat. All right. Let's go ahead and take it just another deep cleansing breath in, just just for the minutes. So. Let it go. Let it flow. There's there's stuff coming up, folks. So, I hope you all are having a fantastic week. I hope we will see you all on Friday, and I will talk to you all again soon.